Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right, maybe to be a little more explicit, a little more censored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right, and let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, um, Young Dolph, um, rest in peace, Young Dolph. A few days will mark a whole year since he's been shot and killed in his hometown Memphis at Makita's Cookie Shop. Now, there's been a lot of speculation surrounding his death, a lot of stories and finger pointing about who was involved. So today, we're going to talk about the latest suspect who has been arrested and charged for Young Dolph's murder and his affiliation with Young Dolph's enemies, CMG. And before we do so, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, y'all. If y'all aren't already subscribed, we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers and we're just almost there at 70K strong. So subscribe and hit the like button so we can get more awareness to these videos and continue to grow. Now, as we already know, Justin Johnson, aka Straight Drop, and Cornelius Smith has been arrested and charged for the death of Young Dolph, right? There's another suspect by the name of Shundell Barnett on charges of first degree murder and attempted first degree murder, but they got him down for like being an accessory. Now, the most recent suspect goes by the name of Jovan Hernandez. Jovan Hernandez is also the father of Lada Cash Desto, the young female rapper who was gunned down in Houston, Texas, September of this year. Now, 43 year old Jovan Hernandez has been indicted on charges of first-degree murder, attempted first-degree murder, and conspiracy to commit first-degree murder. Now, it's been reported that Jovan was reportedly plotting on Dolph's death in the months leading up to the actual shooting. Now, um, they didn't specify how they know that or what led them to believe that he was doing that, you know, pretty much plotting and cons conspiring to carry out the shooting. However, I'm sure most of that will come out as time go within the case um i personally feel that they're not going to release how they know that information because maybe investigations are still ongoing or it could either be someone's cooperating with the police because how else would they know that you know in the upcoming months prior to the shooting that he was pretty much conspiring and had a hand in you know carrying out the shooting so either somebody's cooperating or somebody's cooperating anyway the part that's concerning the most in regards to this case is the fact that it's been since proven that jovan hernandez also has very close ties to yo Gotti, right yo Gotti's brother and also the cmg camp as well now since his arrest there's been pictures floating around of jovan mingling with yo Gotti's big brother big jook and as we know, these are the same guys that has had beef with Young Dolph for the longest when it came to who was the king of Memphis. So my question is this, right? What does this say for the CMG camp? Because since Dolph's passing, it's been proven time at the time that a lot of people and things involved in this Dolph case all tie back to the CMG camp. And we can't be the only ones seeing this. I'm sure, you know, if we see it nine times out of ten, you know, the feds see it. They, they got to. You know, they have too much intelligence on their side, technology and whatever the case may be. We know that they're on these computers. We know they're, 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 they're watching. So I'm pretty sure that they have this information as well. But anyway, it goes from political leaders of Memphis, police in Memphis, the suspects, the car, and even Makita's cookie shop proved to have had affiliation with cmg so do the police just let that slide do you know do they not look into that further do they not pay that any much attention you know not to mention the daughter mingling with with, with, with yo Gotti, big brother and, and being a fan of yo guy you know things of that nature and not to mention with Dolph being a regular or whatever at makita's cookie shop one may put two and two together or does that get overlooked you know so um not to mention straight drop who was already incarcerated for the case has plenty of pictures proving his affiliation with cmg and prior to his arrest he was even trolling about the killing before going on the run as he would make a song and video called track Hawk. so 
like I said, man, one may one may think, what's going on when you got Joe Vaughn Hernandez having ties to CMG, you got Straight Drop having ties to CMG. Um, does all that get overlooked? You know, do they even care about that type of information? In which I'm sure they do, but as it came out that you know any investigations upon any type of cmg or anything has been going on so who knows um this whole case since the start has been messy though not to mention the stories of the makita's owner and his daughters not adding up and then now we're learning that jovan has also has ties to cmg i don't know let's just see how it how it play out you know it might not be looking too good for cmg in the future only time will tell how things actually go and to be honest with you it's a lot of behind the scenes things when it comes to Dolph case if y'all want to find out you know y'all can check the, the previous videos that we did concerning young Dolph in this case um, I don't know if the page on Instagram is still up but there was a page that was pretty much dissecting the whole case I think it was called young Dolph's case unsolved or young Dolph unsolved it was one of them I don't see the page no more a lot of people saying that it has been taken down as well I don't know how true it is but it's a, it was a lot of foul play going on in Young Dolph's case, man, which is unfortunate because, you know, Dolph was who he was. You know, but um, other than that, y'all jump in the comments, man. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Um, What do y'all think is going to happen with CMG in the future with all these suspects coming out, proving to have some type of affiliation with them, knowing that they were Young Dolph's enemies? You know, or is it going to get overlooked? Who knows? Y'all jump in the comments, let me know how y'all feel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.